All right. <sighs> Give Looks people like a few minutes to come up and roll. Welcome to our LTS. So it is uh, Saturday, last Saturday of the month, and we're doing the live training session. We got a lot packed into today. So, okay, you don't have. But we're. Uh, people haven't come on yet. We're filming with the big camera. If it if it turns out that our signal on YouTube Live doesn't work, we'll uh, we'll post the video with the big camera uh, by the end of the weekend. So. Um, Got people coming in? Yep. Good. Excellent. So, anyway, Dad, I'm sure people are going to want to know, kind of, while we're waiting for people to come in, kind of what's going on with you. Yeah, the, any report that you heard that I passed away just wasn't right. <laughs> I'm still here. Uh, I did, uh, on Monday, this past Monday, just uh, five days ago, I had replacement knee surgery on my right knee, and it is to say the least miserable. Uh, I'm stove up, I can I can barely move, and for me, for the last 50 or 60 years, I've got to pretty much do what I wanted to do, and I can't do it now, but they tell me that uh, once I go through all the physical therapy that uh, and I get it all lined out the way it's supposed to be, then everything will be a lot better. So uh, that's why I had it done. So miserable as in super painful, or just miserable in the fact that you can't go out and do what you well, want to do? Well, yeah, miserable in the fact that I'm that I'm tied down, that I can't function like I normally function. I've got this walker, I don't know if you can see it, but I have to use that to, to even get around and you know, go to the bedroom or go to the bathroom, and I don't like to be restricted, but I am, so. Until my knee gets functional again, which is supposed to be several weeks, uh, I'll be restricted to uh, to, to doing the walker. And, to doing what you're told. Huh? <laughs> to do you're restricted to doing what you're yeah, told. Yeah, whatever the boss tells me, that's what I have to do. <laughs> but uh, I guess the alternative is I would have my knees would have continued to get worse and worse and. You know, eventually I wouldn't have been able to walk, so at least now uh, I can look forward to a somewhat better mobility. Maybe go fishing and go kayaking again like I used to. So that's the update on me. I'm uh, I'm doing well. I'm not uh, I'm not pleased. The pain is not not really excessive. It's it's sharp. It's a sharp pain, but it's not really excessive. It's just the inconvenience more than the pain that bothers me. So that's my update. Okay. All right. So we've got got a lot of stuff to do today. Uh, we're going to go through uh, several different things, Dad. If you want to, if you want to boogie on back over to your recliner. Oh, by the way, today we're not in the shop. We're obviously in the house. <laughs> uh, a couple different reasons why we weren't sure. We've been having some internet issues out in the studio. Um, so, and, and it's much easier for dad to get from the recliner over to here than it is clear out there. Yeah, getting up and down any kind of steps is, is really, a, really a bear. I can go, you know, one inch step is not bad, but yeah. out in the studio, we've got some six and eight inch steps to get up into that. And that would have been a booger for me to get up there. So, so we decided to do everything inside. So, um, the actual, I, I thought that I was going to, before dad came home from the hospital, we thought we were going to actually do some more carving on uh, on this sign. But as it turns out, we're not going to do any carving today. Monday, uh, Monday's video will follow up and we'll, we'll keep working on this Monday, maybe possibly Wednesday. But we'll get this all carved this next week and uh, we'll do all of that on Monday's and possibly Wednesday's video. Um, so that's the, that's kind of the reasoning behind that. And I, I think, uh, I think I'm going to slip on out of here, son. I'll let okay. you take over and you and Vicki do what you want to do. And I'll, okay. uh, I'll just sit over there and watch. I may come back over for the question and answer, but probably not. Well, even if, uh, even if you don't, I can shout them out you, uh, from across the room and you can answer them from over there. Right. Okay. What can I do to help? Oh, that hurts. And he's off. <laughs> All right, I'll move that out of the way. So, um, 
I guess that's about it as far as introduction goes. Scoot over a little bit. Oh, we'll move over this way. Okay. No. Okay. Is that better? That's better. Okay. All right. So, again, uh, if the sound isn't quite exactly what you are used to, I've got the microphone for the big camera, but we're using the microphone for the iPhone. So I'll try and, and kind of what uh, it is a how's the volume, everybody? Anybody that's watching, let us know how the volume is doing. Um, make sure that everything is okay there. So, um, what's first on my list? You got people from Canada, Sweden. Everybody says it sounds great. Good, excellent, and evidently the signal is is so far. Let's cross our fingers on that. So I think the first thing that we were gonna we we're gonna show is um, we're gonna do a couple giveaways at the end or toward the end, and we got a brand new uh, a brand new product, which um, actually I think Dad came up with yep. this, didn't he? This yes, is he all did. Dad. I think Dad came up with this. Um, so this is made out of quarter inch oak, um, and it's a I used it and tested it, and it works fantastic. In case you guys can't recognize what it is, it's a push stick for your table saw. Thanks, Frank. Frank likes it. Frank likes it. Good. Uh, anyway, and, and, it, and it works terrific. It's made out of quarter inch oak ply and uh, obviously laser cut, and it works really, really well. So we're going to give a couple of these away today. At the end, we're going to do, uh, or toward the end, before the Q&A, we're going to do two giveaways. We're going to give one of these away to premium members like we normally do. And then we're going to give away to just, just anybody that happens to be watching. We're going to, we kind of devised a, a, a way, hopefully, that we can uh, <laughs> give away one of these to you guys. So, um, that is that. Uh, what's next on the list? I think, Paper. what else did I need to mention about, oh, $10. These will be, these will be, that's what it was. These will be on the website by the end of the weekend, I, I assume. Is that right, babe? Um, and they're $10. So, $10 plus shipping. So, that is that. Uh, next, a week or two ago, we, we came up with an idea to do all of our cutout patterns on, as far as drawings. Vicki was able to figure out how to get all of our cutout shapes, which is... England. Huh? It's from England. I think there's about... What do we got? A dozen? There's, for, I think 15. Yeah. A dozen, 15 different cutout shapes for cutting shapes of signs. So um, this is what we did was so people could have these shapes but not necessarily buy the cutout patterns, which can be expensive and pricey for shipping and all that. We've now, uh, a couple weeks ago, we came up with doing it on paper, and um, they're just five bucks a piece. Thank for you, any, Todd. Any of the cutout shapes, they're just five bucks a piece. But we've upgraded this uh, beyond this even. So now what we've got is... Hi, we, Diana. Diana from Australia. Diana. Hi, Diana. Um, we have these now. We decided to go ahead and rather than print them out on paper like this, we actually cut them with our laser. So what I would do if, if you were going to... Hold it down a little bit. If you were going to get these, and I think these will be much easier to use, so you don't have to cut through the paper, you don't have to cut them out with scissors, they're already cut to size, and we have every every one of them available now. All of, a, all of the cutout patterns are now Now it's going to be easier for me to make new ones, too. Yeah, and so we'll be adding more shapes as time goes on, we'll be adding more shapes. If you guys have some ideas, let us know. Oh, right. the, now, the only one that... Um, is not available this way, uh, and it's still a printout, is the star. Because of our laser, our laser is only 12 by 24. So all of our cutout shapes, except for the star, which is 18 inches, we can't do the star on uh, cutting out with a laser, so it'll still be a printout. But every other one is now, um, in fact, I've got, you know, there's the big ribbon. That's a 20 three inches, I think. So we've got, um, I just, Vicki brought in some some different ones, but they're all, um, so you know, so we got the dog bone, the double heart, 
uh, the live to ride. So here's how I would use these guys. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Ways. Bless you. A couple different ways. You could use spray adhesive, spray the back of it, set it on the board, and then just cut it out with your jigsaw or your scroll saw. Uh, you could do it that way. I think if it were me, I would use masking tape, and I would tape it in, in three or four spots. And <laughs> Thank um, you. then I would spray it, spray it with black, and then use that. That way, Thank this you, is Diana. reusable. You could put it in an envelope. Everybody's saying, bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Not me, to you. No, to me. Um, anyway, I think I would tape it down just in spots, spray it like we do normal layout letters, and then it's and then you can reuse it if you need it. You can put it away and you can reuse it. If you, put, if you use spray adhesive, uh, chances are it's going to be a one-time deal. And uh, if you need another one, you'd have to buy another one. So I, if it were me, I would just put a uh, few pieces of tape and then spray it and then set it aside and have it for future. Hi, Morgan. Morgan, Morgan from Sweden. Morgan Stoltz. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Morgan? My Swedish friend. All right. So that is it for the cutout. So these, again, will these be on the website by the end of the weekend? I'm hoping. Yes. We're hoping that these are on the website. If you have any questions, email or call or Somebody whatever. asked, I think Marty asked uh, about a cowboy hat. I do not have a cowboy hat yet, but I do have a lot of designs in mind, so I will be making more. Yeah. yeah. These are so much easier than... Now that we have this process down, um, it actually is a better product than the print. And uh, to be honest, if I were you guys, because of shipping and cost, if you just want the shape, this is definitely the way to go, you know. I wouldn't be surprised at some point in time if we discontinue the cutout uh, templates altogether and just do the paper ones. And it allows us to uh, come up with so many more um, shapes, and we want to expand that. So um, that is that. We're doing pretty good on time so far. Santa hat is available. It'll be on the website. Yeah, the Santa hat's available. All of them, everything's available. Um, okay. What's next on my list? What do you show? Uh, paper cutout, push stick, uh, transfer. Okay. All right. So now, here's the deal, guys. When I, um, this is going to be a demo. When I did this, um, you guys saw that I did, if you watched the, the video, we put, um, we used freezer paper, inkjet printer, and we used freezer paper, put four of them together, and we transferred it. It actually worked pretty well, but the reason it worked as good as it did is, let me show you. I did a, um, I showed this actually on Instagram the other day. So here is, now these are, I know these are backwards because it's just an experiment. Here's, um, and I know you guys, you probably can't see it really well. well hold it still now. Should be able to. So if you look at the difference between these two transfers, and I did these the other day. Again, they're backwards, I know, So, but it was just a, an experiment. This one, these were both done with freezer paper, okay? But this one looks splotchy as compared to this one. If you look at the, especially look at these letters here. Hold on, I'm going to try to zoom in on them. And the, I'll get my sausage fingers out of the way. And these letters, and these letters, and all of the detail is so much clearer than this one. But they were both done with an inkjet printer, and they were both done with freezer paper. But let me tell you why they're different, why they looks, why this one looks so much clearer. Um, first of all, I got to tell you that when you transfer, if you're going to do this kind of a transfer, definitely sand your board smooth. I think I sanded this with my uh, my disc sander down to like 220. So definitely you got to have a smooth board. That's number one. Number two is um, let me show you, and I'm going to do a demo here in a second. Let me show you this. I printed these out on the laser printer uh, about an hour ago. Yeah, it was maybe an hour and a half ago. Can you? So look at the difference between these two. And I'm going to transfer these. This, yeah. I'm going to transfer these. So this one, let me make sure. 
This one is just regular on transfer pa on on the freezer paper. Oh, by the way, the freezer paper that I use, let me show you. I'm sorry. I'm, this is the freezer paper that I use. Comes in eight and a half by eleven sheets, and it's made for a printer. They make it for crafters and whatnot. So this stuff is really good. It it should be at one point. It, this was in our Amazon store, but then somebody brought up the fact that it was much cheaper if you go to this website. But we, I think now it will be back in our Amazon store because with shipping and everything, it's about the same. So if you guys are looking for this, you can go to this website. Uh, it's on here. Somewhere. It's J, uh, Jenkins. C. Jenkins. Yeah, go to these people's website. You can Google it. Um, uh, but it should be, it probably by the end of the weekend, it'll be in our Amazon store too. It's a, I think... The price now is about the price. Visible. The price was cheaper, but then when the shipping, the shipping is high. So you from the website. Yeah, but we can get it on Amazon Prime free shipping, and it comes out about the same. So it's about the same. So anyway, it'll probably be in our Amazon store. But anyway, this stuff is awesome. I absolutely 100% recommend it. So this is just regular freezer paper. This is the same freezer paper, but here's the trick. The reason it is so much better, and I'm, I'm gonna transfer both of these to show you is that Turn yeah it I know it's hard, hard to believe and I, I have to give credit where credit's due I didn't figure this out a buddy of mine John Jerrigan actually figured this out he is a neighbor and he was over here I'm teaching him how to carve signs he's doing really good and he was looking for a way to clear clean these papers off so he could use them again and he used the silicone spray and it cleaned it off, but then he used the paper again and realized that if the paper is coated with this silicone spray first before you print it, it transfers much, much better. And I'm gonna do a demo on that right now and I'm gonna show you how, hopefully, theoretically, unless it messes up. So I'm gonna get this, <laughs> I'm gonna get that out of the way. I've got, um, I've got a board here somewhere. Where's my board? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Did I forget to bring my board Where in? Where is it? Um, okay. I didn't bring in that piece of poplar. Gosh, I, I really where thought is I it? did. I don't know where it is. Wow. Okay. Um, man, I'm alive. I thought I had it all figured out. All right. Keep okay. talking. Okay. So, um, Vic, you come over here in front of the camera no. and keep everybody, no. uh, keep everybody no. busy. No, no, no. Uh, talk about the layout template. Would you, did you bring it in the house or is it out in the shop? I don't know. It might be in the office. It might be in the shop or in the studio. Wow. Gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. I thought I had this all figured out. What did I do with that piece of popper? Anyway, I had a piece of popper. I, we're going to do it. Um, the layout template. Okay, so we're, we'll come back to that. Oh, my gosh. I'm such an idiot. All right, so... Layout template of the month for premium members. It's the ribbon. Yeah, we're doing okay on time. Um, it is actually the ribbon, like the um, uh, breast cancer awareness or uh, Blue Lives Matter. So what I did was I actually carved this a couple different ways. And I'm going to show you guys what uh, some possibilities that you can do. So here's the three different ways that I carved it. This is uh, Blue Lives Matter. Can't find it? I don't know. I'm going to, we're going to, you know. Oh my gosh. Uh, all right. So Vic, you come over here and oh, do this. Babe. I'm going to go find the, I'm going to go find it. I'm I so look sorry. like. No, you look fine. No, I don't. All right. So hold on, everybody. We're switching here. What am I supposed to say? Well, talk about this. Right. Talk about the three different ways. I'll be back. Oh my in gosh. 30, I'll be back in 30 seconds. Oh my gosh. Well, wasn't ready for this. Dave's over there laughing at me. <laughs> All right, so we did that ribbon because I've had several requests for the ribbon. So it's a, oh yeah, it's available for the Blue Lives Matter, the breast cancer awareness. Here it is. It'll be on the website. All right. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Yeah, that yeah, was. was. Right, it was right there in the office. It was just up on the shelf. Oh. Okay, so um, we'll go ahead and finish up with this. Right now. So oh, here's, thanks, guys, but I look like crap. Here's here's the different ways you can carve it. Obviously, this All is right, the hold it there. Blue Lives Matter. This is a carved outset. This is carved inset. 
and actually it was really fun to carve. It really was. Now, you're probably going to ask about this pink. This pink is actually, I did a demo, maybe it was last month on the oh, LTS. Hi, Laura. She's I, in Spain. I did a demo with these acrylic paints. That's what this pink is. Although I didn't have pink, but I used my little color wheel. Hold on. Show and it. It, we got that at Joanne's, right? Yeah. That's, that's, that's a pretty cool thing. Yeah. This thing is really, really cool, guys, because I didn't have pink in here. But it, uh, it told me to mix, well, I probably could have figured out red and white. But um, that's how I came up with that pink, and it worked out really well. So uh, these are little acrylic paints work really good. They sand off really well. This obviously is the cedar fencing. But, um, yeah, I just, Thank you, Mike. I just mixed it, huh? Um, oh, yeah. You gave me the stink eye there. So you made me get in front me. of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so outset, inset. And uh, these little acrylic paints, if you've got time, I would definitely uh, recommend them. They work really well. This blue, by the way, is just a Sharpie. So that, um, you know, and I've done that forever. So anyway, all right, so we are tempted enough. And these will be on the website as well. Uh, 350, right? That's what they, these will be on the website as well. It's a, yeah, it's a little bigger. That one's a four inch template. The other standard is three, three and a half, but oh, I made really? that one a little okay. bigger. All right. So. Let's get back to this demo. I have my popper, my piece of popper. So, let's get this stuff out of the way. So, here's what we're gonna do. I gotta stand, and... Oh, Marty said he started using resin. Marty, uh, from Minnesota, Marty? Mm -hmm. Cool. It's fun, huh, Marty? So I'll have to show my, my latest table. Maybe we, you can bring it over and we'll show it real quick. Yeah, I think we'll have time. You know what? Uh, can you hand me those scissors? I should have I chopped this more ahead of time. I'm gonna have I told to you we had a lot to fit in here. <laughs> but we're, we're moving along. <laughs> That's why we uh, have so much fun. We don't edit. We just go by yeah, the... Yeah, we just roll with it. All right. So this is, um, this is the one with no silicone on it. So I'm going to transfer that first. All right, I'm going to uh, zoom in, so give me a second here. The end of my tape here. This was one without silicone on This it. was without the silicone, yes. So. Is the silicone spray on your Amazon shopping list? I don't. I think it is, actually. Is it? I think it is. And what are you using to scrape that? Oh, I'm just using our, uh, I like this. It's got a nice edge on it. This is just our router bit depth gauge. But you could you could also use, um, some people like these little things for, uh, for applying vinyl. And it works really well, too. I think I like my little router bit depth gauge a little bit better. Just feels a little bit more solid. So, um, again, this is a piece of poplar. It just is a, an extra piece I had lying around. I'm going to make a sign out of it one of these days. So we'll see how this transfers. Actually, not too bad. All right. Morgan asked real quick, have you stopped using the laser print acetone transfer process? I, you know what, uh, actually that process works really good too, but I, I prefer this, honestly, I, I prefer this uh, over that. So this is the one that's got just a coating, and I'll show you how I do that as, uh, as an example. What did I do with the, oh, there it is. So here's a piece of the blank. And uh, real quick, since Susan asked, um, do you spray the silicone? Oh, you're going to yeah, do it. That's exactly oh, what there I'm you go. Do. All I do is just take a one little tiny shot. Move your then, board back a little bit. Huh? Move your board up this way a little bit. Mm. And I'm all over the place. All I do is just a little spritz. And, Rocky. and I just wipe it on there. That's it. That That's all I do. Then you just put it in your printer. And let it dry a little bit. Huh? Does it have to dry at all? No. Nope. It's ready right ready now. Ready to go? Yep. Yeah, it's ready right now. Because you're wiping off the excess with paper towel. All right, so now let's 
see if this works. And this one has the silicone. This on. does have the silicone on it. Yeah, I cut it off the wrong way. Let's <laughs> drop. Marty's five month old granddaughter, Adeline, says hi. Good morning, Adeline. Hi, Adeline. And I've got another demo after this that we're going to try something else, too. And I'm trying to kind of stay consistent with how I transfer this so I'm not you know, put more pressure on one than the other because I want the, the samples to be the same. <sighs> oh, Marty asked if we're going to be getting mugs work because we're out. Oh, we I do need to order some more. I'll, I'll order some more soon. All right, there we go. Okay, so there it is. That's, that gives you a kind of an example. Okay. Which one's which now? This one is without silicone on the paper. This one is with silicone. I could have, I probably, I missed that little section there. But the main thing that you want to look at is look at the, the parts with the real detail. Can you move the paper towels out of the way there, please? Oh. Okay, this one is without. Huh? This one is without. This one's without. See how it's kind of splotchy? See these lines in here? It's kind of splotchy. And even down here, it's not, it doesn't transfer quite as well. Now, again, this is a quick demo. I probably, if I was doing this and carving a sign out of this, I probably would spend a couple more minutes, you know, rubbing on there. But this is so much better detail in here. And I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but trust me. This one is so much easier and, and a better transfer than this. There's something about that silicone on that paper that causes more of it to, more of the ink to come off and transfer it to the board. Now, this obviously um, is very, very detailed. Now, the next, um, the next little demo I'm gonna do, and this would be my preferred, depending on how much detail you have on your um, on your detail. So here is something that I again I printed this. Yeah, it's probably not going to show up. I printed this about an there hour ago, same kind of time. Now, if you have this, this is the is, transparency. The, huh? Transparency. This is the transparency paper. Now I've tried this in the past, and we had a a lot of fails with this stuff. So I still really like this. If I have Depending on what my artwork is like, um, well, let me go somebody back. asked, I, I, I can't see it right now, if you've ever used color print. Color print? Uh, color, and you use oh, yeah, black. Absolutely, and... yeah, well, that's green. Oh, I can't know, tell, you can't it looks black. Tell, but that's green. Okay. It is green. Yeah, absolutely, I have. So, this is the one with the transfer paper. Now, I also did an experiment with, with uh, or this is a freezer paper with this transparency film. And this was with the transparency film. Now, I don't like either one of them. This one is better. This one, this one is with silicone, so it's better. This one's without silicone, and you know, obviously, it's it, you can't even distinguish what it is. So the transparency film, if you've got really, really detailed stuff, I wouldn't use the transparency film because it just doesn't work. Now, this is with the silicone on it. It's not, it's better, but it still doesn't work near as good as the transfer paper, as the freezer paper. Um, DIY with Wally, I'm not sure, uh, said, uh, yeah, yeah. he asked if you use a laser printer or an inkjet printer. Inkjet. This is all inkjet. You can use a laser printer, but that's a different process. That's, then you're, you're either using heat or you're using, um, uh, like acetone or, but this is all laser. 
or excuse me, this is all inkjet. Uh, all of this is inkjet. So now, if you can get by, if you've got something that doesn't have a whole lot of detail, I I much prefer. Hold your board up. We can't see it. Yeah, I much prefer this this transparency film. If you've got something that is more of a silhouette and doesn't have a lot of detail to it. And I'm going to transfer this right now. Hopefully I've got the right side. Yeah, that's the right side. So I'll just go ahead and, and uh, transfer this. And it actually works pretty well. Now the silicone, um, it, it makes a, a little bit of a difference, but not that big of a difference on this transparency film. But if you can get by, if your artwork is... is such that it is just a silhouette. more of a silhouette, then um, I will use a transparency film every time. Although this seems to be kind of splotching a little bit. The, the freezer paper definitely is a better transfer, but the advantage of the transparency uh, paper film is that you can see exactly where it is. You don't have to guess and put registration lines and all that. Um, like you would with the uh, with the freezer paper. Again, you could use you could use that as well. It's, yeah, it's not too bad. So if if you've got something that isn't super detailed. You know, I would use a transparency film. If it's got a lot of detail like that logo, I would definitely go with a freezer paper. But I really love the transparency film if you can get by with that. And I, actually, somebody was telling me the other day, and I hadn't thought about it, with this transparency film, let's say you had um, a big, uh, you put it in rapid resizing, and it's three or four tiles, you could actually do one at a time. You wouldn't necessarily have to tape them together. You could do one because you can see through it as you're doing the transfer. You could do one and then just put the next one on and you wouldn't necessarily, you could just line them up that way because you can see where everything is. You wouldn't have to tape them together like we did with the um, with this big one where we put it in rapid resizer and we had uh, four or five, four tiles, I think. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's actually a pretty good process too. So the transparency film Here's my recommendations. The transparency film, if you've got uh, a logo or you've got artwork that isn't super detailed, if you've got artwork that's detailed, I definitely would go with the transfer um, but uh, or the freezer paper. But the silicone trick, again, John uh, found it out by mistake, and then we started doing, he and I started doing some experimenting with it. And this stuff just makes a huge difference, especially if you've got super fine detail. So um, give it a shot, guys. If you're doing transfer this way with the freezer paper, and, it, and the freezer paper just, it works so well. It works phenomenally. Okay, that is, uh, any questions in there? I... No, we have drawings to do. Yes, time to do the drawings. I'm going to walk over here and let your dad. Yes. Huh? You clean up. I'm going to walk okay. over here. And... All right. This one is for the, we're going to do a drawing for, show the, oh. move all your papers yeah. and yeah. stuff. You're upside down. Okay, crack everywhere. All right. So this is uh, the drawing for the, um, the push stick for a uh, premium member, right? Yes. The okay. First one's the first one's for the premium members. How's everybody out there today, by the way? We have a lot of questions, but we'll do that at the oh, end. Cool. So I didn't want to interrupt. You can get back to them then? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. Excellent. You ready cool. to draw a number? By the way, guys, I got a huge collaboration coming up. You'll probably hear about it in the next week and a half, two weeks. Um, it's going to be really cool. It, uh, this, this YouTube uh, channel and uh, the person I'm making for is super, super nice. I'm really excited about doing this one, and uh, he's a monster uh, on YouTube. Okay, we have a we yeah, have a don't winner. don't not yet. Hold on. Oh man, I got me. See see here. So remember, guys, once you print this stuff out, it'll come right off on your hands. So you want to? Yeah, I did it right there too. All right, don't so, don't wipe it on my tablecloth. No. <laughs> Thanks. All right. <laughs> what do we got? This is for the premium member. The drawing for the 
push stick for no, premium Number members. 67. So dad, dad picked this out of the bucket, right dad? Right. You can authenticate that. Hold that up. All right. So it's John Eastman. John Eastman. John Eastman. <laughs> I've heard that somewhere before. Yeah. So, John, <laughs> congratulations. Uh, hi, Tracy. Yep, Dave's sitting over there behind us. He was he was on earlier. Yeah, he's doing good. He's over there in his recliner. So, John Eastman, we will get this shipped out to you right away. You get a, uh, a push stick. Okay. So, now what we're going to do. Okay, so now we're going to try something different. We're going to give away to anybody that's watching. So, um, how do you want to do this, Vic? You're the All host. right. So, everybody that's watching, I want you to send a one-word comment. And the word will be... What's the word? The word will be... <laughs> I, I had it in my head, but now I lost it. Uh, the, it okay, word. we're going to make it a two-word thing. Push stick. Okay, comment, push stick. Push stick. And then the 15th comment will win the push sticks. We will be shipping this out to Whoever the is our number 15th. So there's... start commenting push and, stick. Yeah, push stick. There we go. Good, good, good. All right, it's coming through. All right. Let's so. Cleaning up. Let's take a drink. Oh, they're still commenting. Push stick. So are you, are you counting? Uh, no, not yet. Oh. I will. I can go back. Oh, okay. Right. We're going to give it a okay. couple of minutes. So, uh, just to fill time here, so we'll, uh, on Monday, we'll be carving that, uh, the cut Bain Custom Woodworking. We'll uh, follow up. Hopefully, we'll get it done on Monday, but it may go into Wednesday. And then next next Friday, I'm not sure what we're doing yet. So, we may have a large side carvers of the day, or we may be starting on that uh, uh, that new okay. collaboration. One, two, three, that, so. four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Kurt Tuttle. Kurt Tuttle. Let me make sure I did that right now that I said that. Kurt. <laughs> now you're kind of now locked I'm kind of locked in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yes, fifteen. Kurt Tuttle. Kurt Tuttle. You have won the push stick. And we've got all his information. Yeah, we've got everything. He's, he's a regular, one of our regulars. So, Kurt, you're going to get one of these as well. We're going to ship that out to you oh, probably Monday. Okay. What else? What else we got? Um, Template of the month. We did the giveaways. Yeah. All right. Questions. Questions. Let's go. I'm ready. Now you are a winner, Kurt. <laughs> Somebody sent a message or made a comment, but it's, I don't know the language. You don't, oh, you have your paper towel, sir. Yeah, it's. It's actually the silicone, uh, like a cleaner for this stuff. All right, let's go back. So the silicone cleans the ink off your fingers. <laughs> off your bingos. Yeah. Wow, a lot of comments. All right. All right. We have people from South Carolina, Sweden, Minnesota, Canada. Um, cool. Uh, I, man with the hat. Where's he from? Uh, Stephen Hawker. He's from the uh, UK. The UK, yeah. I He's the one him. that made our rings. Right there. That's the guy. You want a ring made out of a coin. Stephen's your man. Uh, everybody says it's good to see Dave, and they're glad he's doing well. Yep. He's um, over there listening Illinois, to what you're saying. Or actually, he's going to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Illinois, Northern California. Let's see. Upstate New York, Missouri. Wow. Edmond, Oklahoma. Thanks so much, guys, for spending some time with us. Florida. Texas. I'm looking for questions. I'm so just if you've got questions, bring them on. Michigan. Hold on. Idaho. Uh, I'm looking for questions as I'm going through here. By the way, I, while we're while Vicky's looking for questions, we're just talking South to Carolina. Sim, uh, Sim Dietrich, uh, who's on the East Coast this morning. He was asking me about clearing spray cans. If you guys have watched me uh, uh, on old videos Australia. where I turn my spray can upside down to clear it, especially on the ink, if you watched me do that, um, 
That absolutely is still applicable. It's always a good idea. But however, on the primer cans, the primer, that Rust-Oleum primer that we use now, it's a completely different technology and it's a different type of, of nozzle. And I don't even know how they're made inside, but if you try to turn that out, turn that <clears throat> upside down and clear that, it won't ever clear. So that, that uh, little tip doesn't apply if you're using the Rust-Oleum spray uh, primer, just only on the ink. All right, Jason Atchison said he got his order today. Fast shipping, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Jason. Uh, do we do we have a cowboy hat? We're we're working on it. Um, we do have a cowboy hat on the layout. No, they want that but the cut, cut out. Yeah. 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 Uh, we can make a pattern from that. Okay. Tennessee's here. Sweden's here. Crazy. Uh, North Carolina. Questions, um, guys. Bring all the questions. Yes, I'm. I'm they're probably down there. I'm still up at the top. Uh, where do you guys buy your Marsh ink from? In store or online? Uh, That's from Jason. Uh, two different two different sources. I buy it from ZorroTools.com. If I'm buying a case of black at a time, which normally is what I buy, but if I'm buying individual, uh, I buy it from Carson uh, or a uh, Carlson Supply. Carlson Systems, excuse me, they're out of Phoenix. But you can really, they have all the colors, whereas Zorro doesn't have colors. They have pretty much black and tan. Several people, oh, Jason and uh, and Donald Spicer said they are uh, they order it on Amazon. So. Yeah, you can get it on Amazon. Uh, you can order it. Uh, there's several different places online. If you Google it, Ohio. you'll find it. Um, Zorro is really good for a case at a time. I, I like Carlson Supplies because you can buy one can at a time. And they're super fast and super nice people. If you need their phone number, let me know. Just shoot me an email and I'll uh, give you their phone number. I talked <laughs> to a lady named Ginger down there. She's terrific. Um, people, when you lock, couldn't find your board, yeah. Mike Hubbard says transfer it on the wall. No. <laughs> Jim Malkin right, says. right on the oak, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> thank you, Susan. They said they were being kind to me. Sue Alexander? Or? Sue, yeah, Sue Alexander. Todd Scholes. Um, let's see. I'm getting there. I'm sorry. Our signal is good, I guess. Hi so from far. Spain. Laura Lacey says, wow. hi from Spain. On holiday, still watching your lives. <laughs> your, uh, Thanks so much. Acrylic paint away. works great on the side. Okay. Um... Let's see. Hold on. I'm getting there. We're still looking for questions, guys. Somebody was getting some kind of weird subtitles underneath the thing, but that's not... Really? I think that's... Yeah. I don't know. Um, okay, so Susan Alexander says, do you spray... Oh, we answered this. Do you spray the silicone on the wax paper, yeah. then wipe it out? Okay. Yeah. Not wax paper, freezer paper. Oh. I don't know. Wax paper might work, but I've never used it. Oh, it's she says wax paper. paper. Yeah, freezer paper is what we use. Uh, yeah, freezer paper sheets. Okay, Ronaldo, you're welcome, Ronaldo. He said thank you to me. He's in Puerto Rico. So, uh, also, guys, um, just so you know, uh, I wouldn't use this paper again because I've already cut it off, so it's not really uh, applicable to go back in the printer. But if you left it full, this, uh, I don't know if you can see this. Hold yeah, just hold it up. Yeah, you can actually. That's Come on. how good the silicone spray works for cleaning it. So you can use these things over and over and over if you leave them full, full uh, size rather than hacking them off like I did. Okay, Andrew Murphy says, is, is it better to let the printout sit a while or transfer it right away? No, I would transfer it right away now the, the and i've had this question before where people were and it's been a while but where people printed it out and then they set it aside to let it dry well number one um it would take hours and hours for it to dry if it dries at all number two you don't want it to dry because you want it wet so that when you transfer it 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 all transfers over so i would Print it out as, as close to the point where you're ready to transfer to the board. These that I printed out, all of these I printed out was about 
two hours ago now. So it was about an hour and a half from the time I started the transfer. And they, they worked just fine. All right. Apparently somebody thinks I'm too loud. Sorry. Oh, because you're right next to I'm it. I'm right next to it. Yeah, yeah. So turn your volume down. Um, Mickey, too loud. Welcome to my world. You know what? <laughs> um, I'll leave that good idea. All right. I'm oh, trying. I go. Turn it off of this. Uh, Okay, I, I apologize if I missed any questions. We can, we'll have to go back because I got a bunch of them down here. Cleans off of the transfer paper too. The silicone does, which Let's I'm not see. surprised. Audio, audio. So it comes right off. Works good. Anyway, this stuff uh, makes a huge difference for your transfer. A lot of comments on push stick. Yeah. Yeah, um, push stick's really cool. That was all Dad. Dad came up with that design, the idea, and everything. So. Um. um Buster and Noreen Stout Stotts asked if we were going to the Midwest show. I don't even know about the Midwest show. Is that no, a, Kurt, is, we have your address and everything. A Midwest show, is that a woodworking show or kind of a maker's feel or what? I, I'd like to go to more of those. We're definitely going back to Workbench Con. Uh, I think in February, February yeah. I think is when it is in um, Atlanta. Okay, Tracy Keaton asked, uh, what's the best beginning router to get? I like the DWP611 DeWalt. That's my favorite. However, I will say that uh, I think I'm in the minority. A lot of people love the little, little Rigid 2401. And it's 100 bucks. It's um, it's already open in the backside, so you don't have to modify it. It has plenty of power. Now, a lot of people like the cordless. Uh, I'm still kind of a, uh, in the corded camp just because of the batteries. But if you've got a 4 amp, our back four hour amp hour battery then you'll probably be okay but um the little rigid the little rigid from uh from home depot 100 bucks for the corded one lifetime guarantee it's hard to beat man and and it and it's a good little router um okay morgan stalls says i think it's time for you to take a trip to sweden soon me too yeah, good idea. I love that. Yeah. On my way. What time is it? Okay. Um, T Wolf nineteen eighty two says when people make the bigger signs, are all the boards glued together or do they use plywood? I don't. Here's the thing on the plywood. Back, it, it's been like a long time since I tried to carve on plywood. When I did it, it's in there like all the plywood used to be back in the eighties and nineties. You might get by with plywood. I don't use it currently because I like solid boards, um, you know, like laminating the cedar or the redwood. Um, so I, I don't use that. But there's a lot of guys out there that are using plywood. And I think it has to do with the plywood, quality plywoods. There's really some quality plywoods out there that I think probably would make good signs. The, the biggest caveat that I would really pay, pay attention to is if you're going to use plywood, is um, the thickness of the, the surface veneer. If it's super thin, then you've got to be really careful if you're going to do any sanding that you don't go through that, that surface. So All right. that, that's what I would really be careful. If I was going to go out and find, and I might do that, I might do a demo carving on plywood. Um, if I was going to do that, I would look for plywood that definitely the top layer that was pretty thick that I knew I wasn't going to sand through it. Okay, Frank Frank Jenkins. Um, I'm installing threaded inserts in the back of my big X2 sign, double X yeah. sign, whatever. That will allow me to mount the signs with bolts. Have you ever done this? I haven't done that, Frank. That, those those threaded inserts, um, they just weren't available years ago when I was doing a lot of installs and stuff. But I think it's a great idea. I think I think it's terrific. It's amazing. Um, some of those threaded inserts. And those would allow you to do a lot of different things, um, uh, even standoffs. If you wanted to have a standoff out to come out from the from the side of a building or something, um, I think it's a great idea. I haven't used them myself, but um, that might be something I want to play with. Uh, RC can 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 I can't see what it says. It says, "Do you have plans for the Live Edge router unit you use to flatten the board?" The plan is to use it again. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, the, the sled, the yeah. router sled for flattening boards. Yeah, we've got that. So um, Vicky's got more projects there kind of in, in planning. And uh, you want me to bring the table Yeah, over? go bring my other one over. All right. Hang on. Vicki wants to show off her table. What is the easy wood to carve and the hardest wood to carve? Uh. Um, easy wood would be uh, soft woods. I like redwood, cedar, pine. Um, uh, hard woods are, are they're consistent, but they're tougher on bits and uh, a little bit harder. I don't know how you want me to show Just this. kind of tilt it. Put it, bring it over a little bit more. All right, so this is my latest table. I have to show you. It's heavy. Can you move that? Move what? Oh, I'm, I'm showing off. Wait. Look. I have fish. <laughs> fish in the river. Fish. Somebody copied you, by the way. <gasps> I was just looking at Instagram and somebody else did it too. It's different. It's a lot different than this, but somebody else has put uh, fish in their river table. What? Yeah, I saw it this morning on Instagram. Somebody copied my table? Well, nobody could copy your oh, table. Okay. All right. Good they, save. They did put fish in there. All right. But it's okay. Thank you. I'm just, okay. oh, wait, uh, wait, wait. One thing. I want to show the. the what? Oh, the little logo thing. I don't know if it's going to show up. Or yeah, well, hold on. There's oh. my little logo, D and E. <laughs> that was my contribution. Okay. Anyway, so okay. sorry. I had to All show right. off for a minute. Thank Please. you, everybody. You, yeah, I just sit right there for now. All right. Uh, let's see. If... Okay. So, Thank uh, you, Morgan. Best woods to carve. Um, again, I like the soft woods, but I've carved wal black walnut, and it carved really well. It's just, and it's very consistent, and it looks fantastic with a... Uh, with a finish on it, but I, again, I'm more of a softwoods guy. Uh, Gary Litchfield says, when you used to go out and carve on location, did you use a generator and what size and watts? Uh, normally, I, I wouldn't go to... I don't mean to interrupt, but when you told Morgan you were ready to go, he said he'll put on the coffee. <laughs> Thank you. Um, um, oh, going out, uh, carving on location, most of the time... Um, in fact, almost all of the time, we were in a location where we could plug into power. That was just when I was in Oakland, when we went to horse shows, we always set up where we were close to power with an extension cord. However, um, if I was to do it again and set up a trailer, I would definitely set it up with a generator or an inverter. Uh, there, there's, um, there's another way to do it where you have a deep cell batteries and use an inverter to charge up the batteries and then you run all your power, you run off the batteries, which I think is a fantastic idea. And it's something that I really want to play with, but we just haven't, we haven't done it. But um, I think that is even a better idea. Uh, you can get, and, and the, the guy that was telling me that he did that, it was um, one of our students. He said it works fantastic. So he just gets an inverter. I think he got it from like Harbor Freight. He's got a, either one or two big deep cell batteries. He uses the inverter, um, he, he charges up the batteries and uses the inverter uh, and then runs power off those batteries so he doesn't need to have a, a power or a, a generator. But if I was running a generator, huh. I would have at least probably a 2,000 two or 4,000 watt generator, I think would be plenty for you. Um. <clears throat> Andrew Murphy says, any difference with transfer quality with sanding sealer applied or left off? If you're going to use that, I'm glad you brought that up because I use sanding sealer on pine, as most of you know. If you're going to do your transfer, the thing about sanding sealer, you put any finish on a board, it causes the grain to stand up, which makes it rough. So if, you're, if you've got sanding sealer on there, you definitely want to sand that down. At least sand it down smooth to where you've got a smooth surface. You can you don't have to sand the sanding sealer all the way off, but at least sand it down to where it's smooth so your transfer is better. I, I thank you for bringing that up because that really does make a difference. Somebody, I've done it both ways. Jason Atchison's asked if we've ever tried picture frames where you cut out where the sign goes. We don't do picture frames. Picture yeah, frames where you pictures cut out? where you cut out like where a picture would go in it, I guess. I'm not sure. Picture frames are sure. yeah. We've, oh, we've done picture frames. In they're the past, hard to do. Years ago. 
But generally, when we did picture frames, we did them to where they weren't mitered. We weren't ripping and then mitering the corners. We would uh, get a solid board, and then we would use like a cutout pattern for the inside and for the outside. So it was one solid piece of wood. That, that was what we were used to because we were used to cutting shapes with our routers. Jim Skaggs wants to know when we're going on a road trip. Like, soon. say, New Jersey. Oh, like New Jersey? Yeah. Not so soon. Not so soon. I, I would love to. Uh, I, one of Michigan's my, uh, heat index is 105, which is... That's pretty warm for them. Yeah. Especially with the... Uh, humidity, humidity, huh? Yeah. Okay, a lot of... Thank you for all the comments on my resin table. My next table, I think, I've been thinking about it, and it's either going to be a coffee table or... My dining room table. We'll see. Did I use live fish? <laughs> no, my <laughs> fish were not alive. My fish were actually fishing lures. Yeah, they were the little uh, little um, rubber fishing lures, and we cut the hooks and the eyes off of them. Hooks and the eyes? Well, the eyes. Oh, the the, okay, not the, the eyeballs. eyeballs. <laughs> it's just making <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Uh, the eyelets, I guess. Okay. The, the okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I missed any questions because it's kind of bouncing on me, but I'm sorry if I'm so loud. We. Oh, by the way, somebody asked about a lavalier microphone. Yes, we do have one. Yes. But, no, for the phone. Well, this is a lavalier. But yeah, but for the phone. We do have one, but Eric didn't charge his phone this morning. <laughs> so, so here's the deal with the, with the microphone. In fact, where is it? We had it sitting around here. Um, uh, we've got a microphone, uh, an external mic, for the iPhone, which is what we're filming on right now, for the iPhone. Um, we've got an external mic sitting around here somewhere. Anyway, the problem is, it plugs into the same place where the power cord plugs in, and uh, we need power more than we did the sound. Somebody but we asked, have used it. Somebody asked if we have the campers cut out. These? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we've got all three. This is the fifth wheel, but we've also got the um, the trailer, the and double the axle trailer, and the uh, the pop up. What, what do we do with that microphone? Anyway, it's around here somewhere, and it works. We've actually used it before. It works really good. But my phone, we needed to make sure that my phone uh, had enough power for the full hour. Kurt, uh, no, the table was not cedar. That particular, the two small end tables that I did were cedar that I put on film. That one is uh, that one is actually acacia. Acacia, yeah, yeah. we got it when we went down to, to Phoenix. Phoenix to that. We bought uh, that slab and then we cut it and turned it around. Uh, Morgan wants to know if you've ever tried carving spruce. Spruce seems like I have Morgan, but honestly, I can't remember. It's just not that uh, not that prevalent here. I think in Sweden it's very prevalent, but um, I don't I don't. Don't recall if I have carved it. It's been a long time and I can't remember. But I would, I'd probably put it in the same type of category as uh, Douglas fir or pine. But I, uh, I can't tell you unfortunately. Hmm. Okay. Well. Okay. Uh, Todd Scholl says he's carved spruce. How to carve, Todd? Uh, Marty says paint pens are suggested are working great. You suggested are working great. Oh, for great. Me. Cool. Uh, T Wolf 1982s is the reason I asked about the plywood. Is some of the signs I see are huge. Yeah, yeah, and and some guys are using plywood, and I, you know I probably should get a really good quality piece of plywood and uh, and give it a try because that would that would save a lot. Todd says it carved very nice. The spruce worked good. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, what is the best way to transfer? Darn it, a color copy to wood. Same thing. Exactly yeah, the same and, thing. And as a matter of fact, this freezer paper, again, like I say, um, this is used mostly by crafters. And a lot of times, you know, most of the time, they're not carving signs. They're they're making like uh, fruit boxes or or they're doing crate, uh, you know, like the, uh, the the grape crates or or pallet wood or whatever they're making. Um, they're transferring images onto their projects, whatever it would be. And they're just leaving them that way and then putting clear on them. And uh, multicolored, no problem at all. In fact, I did a video 
Uh, it was around Christmas time, around wasn't Christmas it? Around Christmas time where I did like a snowman, snowman. or something. Uh -huh. And it was full color. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. That is about it. Yeah. Mm, that was a quick hour. But we got a lot in. If you guys have questions, obviously, thank you so much for watching, for taking an hour out of your, uh, out of your Saturday. Um, we'll, be, uh, we'll be moving on with that sign on Monday and 4th of July next week. It's going to be kind of a goofy week. Um, Dad's still rehabbing, so we're probably going to be around here. If you guys have questions, Eric at MakerWoodSign.com. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe. Uh, comment on here. Let us know if you want us to. If, you, if you've got projects in mind, if you have other cutouts in mind that you're thinking of, as long as it fits within 12 by 24, we can probably do it. Um, we want to just keep adding some, some more shapes okay, to that. Uh, I, we're going to go over because I have a good thing here. R.C. Canuck had a question up there. Yeah. R.C., I don't know. I missed the question. I apologize. Um, so if you want to re-ask the question, I will make sure that Eric answers you. So he had a question. And then I, I missed it, yeah. Okay. So, all right, RC. Uh, you guys off. Let's see. Uh, uh, what, what was the question? If somebody wants to ask the question for him, if he's not here anymore, we'll make sure that question gets answered. Yeah, absolutely. Send me an email, um, you know, uh, whatever. Well, you, we'll go also, back. You'll go back and go over the questions. And yeah, cause I'll try and answer everything. As I'm, you know, as, as I'm. Can. Scrolling yeah. through them more pop down so yeah. it kind of bounces and I yeah. do miss them. I apologize. I apologize if I missed your question. I'm sorry if I appear to be yelling. I'm just right next to the phone. <laughs> so I'm actually yelling and yeah, anyway. And I'm uh, that's all it. right. Well, yeah, okay. So the we question can... didn't get reposted. So okay, maybe RC had to go. Oh, here it is. Is sanding sealer the same as per stain? Oh, here we go. Is sanding sealer the same as per stain wood conditioner? And does pre-stain conditioner work like sanding sealer, basically? You know, honestly, I, I hear more about, I've been hearing more about this wood conditioner, about putting that on before you put stain. I've never used it. I really don't know. Um, it, it's, it's kind of something that I haven't tried because I don't use stain a lot. So the sanding sealer, I know what that is. That, and that's basically to seal up the board so that when you spray your black, it doesn't bleed in there. As long as you don't spray too heavy. It should prevent most of the bleeding into your board. And that's especially on pine. I don't use it on cedar or redwood. But uh, this wood conditioner, I, honestly, I just don't know. I've never used it. Uh, I think if I start doing more staining, like I did with the... Um, with that, uh, that sign for Greg, the memorial sign for Greg Warner, I stained the outside of that with pine. I think if I had okay, used the wood conditioner, um, the I think it would have given a better, um, a better coverage on that. So um, I, I, unfortunately, I just don't know much about the wood conditioner, but I am going to get some of that stuff and play with it. All right, guys, we are done. We're over time. Thanks again so much. I hope you guys... If we don't talk to you um, by Wednesday, have a great 4th of July, and we will see you on Monday, and we'll, uh, we'll be doing some carving on that sign. So everybody, have a great weekend. Thanks again. Love you all, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.